Hey everyone, welcome back and happy Thursday. All right guys, welcome to the second channel, Up in Adam 2 for all of the extra coverage. I'm sure you've heard about this by now and this is a wild situation. Candace's husband, Chris Bassett, is being accused of having this months long affair. And I don't know if I necessarily believe this at all. I think that when you're in the public eye that everybody kind of gets accused of doing certain things. But I want to play the footage for you guys and see what you think. I want to play it for you. I want to hear your opinions. It was Tasha K. So we've had Unwind with Tasha K on with us at least three or four times. And I've been on her show at least one or two times. And we know her from the Cardi B lawsuit. We know her from a lot of things. And also, she's huge on YouTube. She was the one who conducted this interview. We're going to get into all of it. Before we do, smash that like button, show some love, and let's jump right in. <laughs> All right, guys, so we're going to break right into this because there is a lot going on. Uh, it was all about the Real Housewives who put this out there saying rumors are swirling that Chris Bassett allegedly cheated on Candace Dillard Bassett for the last six months. So shocking allegation claims there were that Chris Bassett, the husband of Real Housewives of Potomac star Candace Dillard, has allegedly been cheating for six months. Now, on Wednesday, which was yesterday, a shocking new allegation began popping up all over social media about the husband of Candace, who is Chris, and a source alleged that Chris has a mistress and has been cheating on his wife with her for the past six months. However, that is just the tip of the iceberg. Tasha K of Unwind with Tasha K alleges, just in on my desk. Hashtag RHOP's Candace Dillard's husband, Chris Bassett, his alleged mistress of six months, just sent me nude photos of what appears to be Candace Dillard's husband and abortion paperwork for the mistress. According to the mistress, the, oh, getting rid of the baby had happened weeks ago, and the alleged mistress is heartbroken and was under the influence when we spoke for hours today via FaceTime and Instagram. This rumor came just months after Chris Bassett became the subject of unsubstantiated, unsubstantiated, it's so early in the morning, guys, I apologize, unsubstantiated gossip perpetuated on season seven of The Real Housewives of Potomac. If you guys recall back, Giselle Bryant claimed that Chris made her completely uncomfortable during a one-on-one -on -one conversation at the season six reunion, and Ashley Darby then piled on by claiming that Chris sent her an inappropriate Instagram message late at night. Then Ashley's friend, Deborah Williams, also claimed that Chris hit on her at Karen Huger's spring fling party, but they they kind of debunked that one. Chris and Candace both denied the allegations. Instead, they accused their cast members of painting a negative picture of Chris for the sake of a storyline on the show. Candace also said that her Potomac co-stars were jealous of her happy marriage and that they were doing anything and everything to remain irrelevant on this show. She told People in late 2022, it tested me as a wife, it's tested me in a way that I didn't think I was prepared for. I had to really shoulder him and catch him while he was going through every emotion. Wow. He was feeling defeated. People were questioning his character, questioning who he is as a human and as a man, questioning his common sense and just following this nasty narrative that has no weight. But Chris, for me, has always been a rock, like a mountain. And so I learned from watching him just how important it was to give him that steady support and show him, I got you. She also added, it just once again shows me, it's shown me and Chris how strong we are together. As I elevate, he elevates as well. And as we elevate as a couple and individually, people are going to try and find a way to break us, but we're not going anywhere. In August of 2018, Chris and Candace tied the knot in Washington, D.C., and the couple met in 2015 while working at a D.C.-based restaurant where Chris was her manager. By 2016, they were attached to the hip and ready to build the future together. But after almost two years of dating, Chris proposed to her, and this was in May of 2017, and in November of 2020, they purchased a $1.1 million six-bedroom, seven-bath home in Upper Marlboro, Maryland. Since then, Chris and Candace have worked on growing their blended family. Candace has frozen her eggs in order to ensure that she and Chris can have their own children in the future. And currently, Candace is a stepmom to Chris's two kids from a previous relationship. All About the Real Housewives said, I honestly hope that this gossip about Chris is 100% false. So do I. 
he doesn't seem like the cheating type. And I think that Chris and Candace are a great couple. So I'm pushing for them to succeed. Now, I don't know if you guys have seen this. I'm going to play the audio from Unwind with Tasha Kay. You can also go listen to it on her show. Is it, is it Ayana? Um, Natasha Ayana. Oh, yes. Okay. All right. <laughs> I know he's married. Oh, this. I just, I sent him like a wiki face. Wish I shed it because I knew that was a married man. So that might be on my part. And then uh, I keep like cooking food and everything. And he kept messaging me and everything. So when did he message you? How long ago? Oh, we still we still messaging. Like, How let me go to the stream and say, like, all right, and talk to Tasha K. So wait a minute. So he told you he loved you? Yes, yes, ma'am. Like, how far into y'all talking? Um, I had an abortion by him. You got the paperwork? You got the abortion paperwork? Yes, yes, yes. yes screenshot it, put, yes, screenshot it real quick. Put it in the chat. Let me see. Well, no, ma'am, I can't. Uh, I'm not trying to, like... Um, I'm not going to put that out. That's sensitive information, and you're not going to jail. I'm not going to do you like that. <laughs> I just want to see it. In case yeah, they be trying okay. to say, oh, shit, that it, it's a lie. No, it will only, only, I'll be like, you, be, you better stand down, motherfucker. You better stand down. I will never post your private information. Like, that is too private. Like this, oh, I'm pregnant by Candace's husband. That's a whole other story. You know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. How long ago did you have the abortion? Oh, uh, 12 weeks ago. Two weeks ago? 12, 12, 12, 12. I was going to say, girl, you are still postpartum. <laughs> 12, 12. <laughs> and yet, if I had that baby, it would have been a whole situation. Like, how could I? And he told me, if you had this baby, she came to the show. It'd be a whole situation. You got to get rid of it. And I... And I listened to him, and... I think... I said, you have time. That's all I'm saying. Like, I didn't have time. And that's why I talked to you, only because, like... Let it be known. He doesn't love her. This is like, this is for fucking facade. That's he fucking for real. Real housewives, all y'all do is lie about your storyline. Everybody has different people. Let's get that known. And you told me you had abortion, but yet you're still with her? All right. So maybe I'm being petty talking to you. I'm sorry. No, you're good. No, Donald, just pour your heart out. You're good. I could tell you're ready to cry. I ain't, because, like, Miss Tasha, like, he really is a good dude. And, like, I don't ever take that away from him. But he's with a fucking horrible woman. And he's trying to please her because she wants had a storyline and she wants to be on this show but am i not good enough like be oh, with me. no no like, no don't all don't, that don't say hey, it. Wait, all this shit i don't give a fuck like i'm oh, sorry wow okay yeah, i want to hear what you guys think go ahead and comment below let us know I don't know if I believe this. I don't know. I don't want to say anybody's lying. I I, I just I want to hear what you guys have to say about this. Guys, go ahead and comment. I'm getting the out of here. Love you guys. I got a ride to catch.